Hello again, YouTube. It is me, Toxicity, and I'm back with another YouTube video. I know, it's probably surprising. I pulled the second longest disappearance act on YouTube behind C-Day, who has just come back into the YouTube frame and has a video number one on trending. But anyways, I'm gonna be reviewing my SG Post Slasher. I had a video with this build, blow up. I got like 1.1 thousand. This build, I'm gonna go ahead and say this as a disclaimer, and I mean this in all honesty. Do not make this build unless you are a good player. And I don't mean, like, you think you're a good player and you're trying to convince yourself you're a good player. If you want to make this build, you might as well come up and ask me. Because this build has the hardest playstyle and the biggest learning curve in the entire game. You can't cheese your way to do anything. And let me show you why. You are five studs. Five studs, 180 pounds. You are not doing anything to any big. You're going to get laid over by shooters. You literally cannot do anything. You have to play perfectly every game, or I promise you, you will lose. It is literally that simple. If you do not play perfectly every single game, unless it's against rookies. But even then, like, as you see there, this build can't shoot. This build can't do a lot of things. I mean, the only reason I made this to begin with was because I thought it was funny. And now that I finally learned how to use it, it's actually really fun. Now, if you're a really good player, and I know you're a good player, or somebody knows you're a good player, or you think you're a good player, Go ahead and make this build. Go ahead. It is a huge learning curve, but if you get the badges that I have, you'll probably have better badges than I do, because I started grinding like post-tech late. But this build is extremely fun to play on, and it gets people so mad. Which is one of my favorite things about RB World. It is so easy to get people mad in this game. Led the legend guard deaths that I have post-stunned and made rage quit in the last few days have been some of my highest moments on this game. Even, mo even more than when I... I mean... Wow, this build is really fun, but don't tell me I didn't warn you and don't come commenting on the video. Oh, this build sucks. Why did you tell me to make this? I, d I said not to because I'm telling you this build is going to give you so many rage quits, so many angry moments. It's going to make you want to quit the game again if you came back. But anyways, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get into the stats. Okay, so the stats of my SG post scoring slasher, 5 stud, 180 pounds. Now, being 5 stud, it does not affect your speed. Now, I've seen a 5-4, maybe 5-5 five, five legend post slasher. The speed with ball was atrocious. I might actually be faster than it is now. Your speed on any height post slasher, SG at least, I believe is capped at 91. Because I thought I was going to have 96 speed, 96 speed post score, but that is one thing that jokes did right. He capped speed at 91. Now being small, my whip ball is 89, I believe at legend. And acceleration is also 91. The main reason I made it 5 stud and a lot of people were asking me was to get snatched back at all star. 66 handles is really good. 68 passing, you're not tricking at anything. 65 strength. When I get silver post tech, it's gonna be a lot better. I was stunning legend guard deaths without bronze post tech. So I think 65 strength is good enough. I think it gets around 75, 76 at legend. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, it's really good. 76 stamina and silver adren is all I really need. I'm typically not running my stamina down very far because I play mainly twos with this build and you'll see why. 68 two pointer, honestly really good. I kind of said that it wasn't great, but it's actually really good to be able to shoot because nobody expects a slasher to shoot, let alone a post score because it's supposed to be a big because it just can't green layups and it's a slasher. I mean, it's all star and a slasher. You'd expect it to be able to green layups. The long lay is the best stat on this build. 86 long lay and I'll get to that in a minute. Post fade is really good, honestly, for an all-star guard. I think it gets around 72 at legend. And silver PSS, yes, you can do deep post fades. I'm very surprised by this. Hook doesn't really matter, it's a guard. The dunk is really good. I can 88 dunks with inside boost, which I do run at all-star, which is really good for a five stud guard. And it gets people really mad, which I don't really know why, but it's funny being able to emote on wide open dunks, sometimes even on contested dunks if they don't contest me very much. The moving two doesn't really matter. You're not really gonna acro until superstar if you really want to grind acrobat. Here's why nobody's gonna use this build. 59 lateral, 55 shot contest, 61 steal, 56 block. These defensive stats are atrocious. Now, if you've played with low, low lateral, low contest builds, you're still gonna struggle with this. And I promise you, you're going to struggle with this. You can get shot over by a stretch. You can probably get shot over by a 4-9 shooter, to be honest. If you're not right on top of them, their sharpshooter is going to 70 or 80 over you. I had it happen this morning and it was so irritating. You can jump and block if you're really close. You're not gonna bail any blocks. You have to play perfect defense. And now the reason that I can win games with this is because my defense is probably one of the best in the entire game. I'm not trying to brag. This is what other people have told me. I might need to drop a defense tutorial, to be honest, for controller because a lot of people use controller and still suck at defense, so it might just help the entire community. But anyways, I've been playing on low lateral builds the entire time I've been in the- 
Okay, Conrad. I've been playing on low lateral builds the entire time that I've played this game. I have one defender. It's a 5-2 PG death shooter. I'm getting laid over the entire time. I can't do anything about that. But what I can tell you is that it's definitely doable. If you're good enough, it is doable. And I think now I'll get into badges. Okay. So you get bronze acro. You get diamond adrenaline, which I only have silver right now because I'm only all-star. Don't flame me. Bronze break starter. You get gold brick wall, which is really funny. Bronze bullet pass. Ain't nobody care about bullet pass. You get bronze inside, which I almost have and probably will use because it's very helpful. You get up to diamond post tech, which is super toxic and I love it. You get silver post shot, which I'll probably use at legend because I don't think it's going to be useful until legend. Uh, diamond post riser, which is going to be so funny. Bronze quick handles, gold rebounder, bronze second chance. Rebounder and second chance are all right. I'm never using quick handles on this build. And the highlight of this build, diamond teardropper. Everybody wants to hate on teardropper. I am the teardropper god. And I will tell you, teardropper is an amazing bad. I will never say anything bad about teardropper. Actually, the only thing bad I will say is I wish it was a 16% boost and not a 12%. I think it deserves a little bit higher because floaters are so underutilized by literally every build in the game. But it helps when I need to floater glitch over hackers and stuff. And just being able to green wide floaters and seeing my blue trail is really nice. So yeah. The last thing I'm going to say before we get into gameplay, I know this has been long, but because of the disclaimer and everything, I mean, it's a build review. If you want to use this build, here are the positives and negatives. The long lay and short lay are actually really good. The short lay, you can't really lay over people, but you can get 50s over specific builds. So I mean, it's good enough if you have a good layup package like the one I'm using. For floaters, you could float her from basically anywhere. If you want to be able to shoot, you're not going to be able to shoot over contest. If somebody's lockdown gets lit on you and you're not using shooting boost, you're probably going to miss. I'm using, I think, jump three, release five. This build misses like every 60 and every 70 mid range. I have to 80 for it to go in most times. And if you're playing against diamond lock, I mean, you're just going to struggle. You're not really going to be able to do anything. The dunk is really good. It's really funny to be honest. The post stuff, it's pretty good. Honestly, the post stuff is probably one of the main positives because when you get to a high rep, it's going to help a lot. Post tech is really good. Adrenaline's really good. The badges are really good. And I've already given you all the negatives. I don't really need to repeat myself again because the defense on this boat is literally so atrocious. But yeah, I think it's about time we get into part gameplay and I stop talking like an idiot. So let's go ahead and go. All right. Ignore the two losses that I took since the beginning. I was messing with auto winners and I lost both games. So sorry, buddy. I'm with Conrad, legend SG True Defender. He's washed. I'm washed. And okay. Oh, that record. Those records are atrocious. Okay, we should be fine. I think we should be fine. I don't see a problem with this at all. When were we auto winning? is you want to abuse post tech and you want to get them to think you're going to abuse post tech because if it works it definitely works all right there we go gotta get that 88 let me see how much contest did that big get none okay okay that's good Hitbox is the easiest way to counter this build to be honest and I've been hitboxed on many times which is the most irritating thing ever Hold on, let me get this dribble glitch on real quick. That didn't work. Okay, I don't know how to dribble glitch anymore. There we go. Kick it to Conrad. If you have a shooter in the corner, or like a death stretch or something, you're going to be able to ISO with this build. They're not going to be able to help. But if you're running with a defender, you are going to get killed. You have to run a specific lineup, which I hate doing on this game. You have to run a very specific lineup every single time you run this build. I'm gonna hit, hit him with the Euro real quick. 60 over him. Okay. So yeah, you can 60 over like specific builds. It's just really rare to be honest, because you're five studs, I mean. And that's not gonna happen often. Snatchback float 96. Let's see that lay. Yeah, 10 contest. That's not gonna happen often. Those are gonna be 50s. All right, let's see. All right, snatch back. This shooter is pretty bad, to be honest. So this isn't exactly the greatest showcase. Uh, 32. Yeah, you can't lay over people. Okay. 
Here's an example of this 59 lateral, guys. What are you doing? Literally boxed you, put you in the blender, you're literally free, you literally have zero IQ, how do you get boxed? You're literally dog water, you're literally rice water, how do you get boxed? Your ass, literally so free, literally freer than a free sample at Costco, you're literally dog water. Spin, shoot right over me, GC. Okay. Gonna set a screen. Right into my screen. Nope, I guess not. Dunk that. Dunk it. What are you doing, Conrad? What's he doing? Okay. Okay. That works. What? Why why do people stalk me in this game, bro? I have a I've achieved Robloxian basketball celebrity status. I don't know how or why. So as you see, that is a true defender center getting post stunned by a five guard a five stud guard. When it works, it definitely works, as you can see, he was on an island. It is the most effective way to ISO, and it definitely is the most skillful thing I've ever seen in RB World 3. It takes the most skill I've ever seen to hold W and E, and do a wide open floater. But that's the society we live in. 79.7, .7, mid range, bow, no shooting boost, no scoring slasher. This build, it's very fun, it's kind of repetitive, that's the only thing but it works when it needs to. I do that early. Okay. That didn't happen. Oh, we're playing double bigs next. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be really fun. Oh, they did switch. Switch back. Good defense, Conrad. Can I get that? Nope. Gotta switch to the shooter. Is he just a spin shooter? Is that all he does? I tell people to stop spin shooting with shooters, and nobody listens to me. It's so easy to guard, that's not gonna work. Legend Defender. Nobody listens to me when I say stop spin shooting with guards, it just doesn't work, I'm sorry. Well, why is he so fast all of a sudden, what? Get dunked on. What percent was that? 71? Ah, that's alright. 19-0. And now you wonder why you're never gonna get XP with this build. You either lose bad and you barely score and get XP, or you nice dunk by the way conrad you either lose bad and get a little xp or you win 21 nothing that's just how it is hey, yeah hey hey, hey. hey. smoke it up back Woo. hey yeah 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 hey yeah bitch show me that back hey hey what? Hey, hey, I'm blowing up fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 you know I'm next. Yeah, hey, 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 hey collecting rings, sonics, bitches wanna party. Virus getting heavy, so I got him on a diet. Yeah, flex like I'm Hogan. What? Controller player? That is a controller player. Hey, smoke in my lungs. I'm gay. Yeah, shorty wanna ride. Yeah, yeah, bitch, I'm a stunt. Hey, didn't get shit. Yeah, I fucked around and spit. Now I got the whole world spinning bitches all about yeah, my yeah, dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pass on your bitch like I'm signing. Pass on your bitch like I'm signing. Hey, pass on your bitch like I'm signing. Pass on your bitch like I'm signing. Hey, hey. I wanna see the whole world, so I'ma keep rapping till I'm on top. I wanna see the whole world, so I'ma keep rapping till I'm on top. My bitch thicker than a motherfucking Chris. Go wrist, bro. Neck flaps, chili sub zero. I can rap so fast I might just break my fucking neck. Ho, all of these bitches that think I can't spit it, the same that be bumping my shit. Ho, you if you hit my shit, I got a dick. Yo, I run it quick, different Flow back up and sit, sit. It's that shit you bitch, it's a hit. Really did it again, I won't ever quit. This my shit. So I'ma keep rapping till I'm on top of it.